Hi everybody, thank you for coming by. This is KBG here. And you guessed it, I walked into a Dollar Tree. And I'm, it's a smaller one and I'm going to practice making my videos shorter again. Um, but I'm just going to dive right into it after telling you thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you. And I really like watching your hauls also. If you're not somebody who has been making videos but you've subscribed or commented on my videos even without subscribing, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and your attention to the things that I'm sharing. So thank you. The first thing I really, um, I didn't need this, but I just thought this was so pretty. I've only seen it twice on haul videos and um, it's just really, really pretty. So. I had to get that. It says that it can hold up to 20 pounds and that it is water resistant and tear resistant. Sorry, water repellent and tear resistant. So I will take very good care of this. It's made in Chicago by Chartwell Studio Incorporated. Um, sorry, I don't even know if I held it up right yet because I've just been so busy studying it myself. Isn't that gorgeous? I have the decal that matches this to put up on the wall. I want to send out some packages and so I picked up one of these eight, eight envelopes with the clasp and to go with that I got a roll of bubble wrap, cushion wrap, whatever they call this. This is 12 inches and across and then six feet long. So this will be nice if I'm just sending stickers or like a small makeup sample or her I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna send yet but I'm excited and I've got a few people in mind to send some mail to this week so um, if you're one of those people um, thank you for being someone that I feel like I've connected with and I really appreciate your time and and your notes to me I really do um, I found this Burnett baby blanket yarn. This is 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. That's how heavy it is I guess. I don't know how to... How do you read this? Okay, sorry. So it's 72 yards. Um, it's machine washable. Sorry, it's machine washable and dryable super bulky. I told my sister about this yesterday. She doesn't frequent the Dollar Tree like I do and she was like, really? Are you sure? Are you sure? Like, really? Burnett in the dollar store? I'm like, yeah. So I bought two. I wanted to get about six or ten or fourteen or twenty of them, but I only got two. <laughs> if there were other colors, I would have definitely gotten them, especially green, purple, pale yellow, pale pink, or gray. I, I really love those. I also love brown. And then um, I found this battery powered toothbrush. It comes with a battery and I'm guessing the battery isn't that great. So we'll just use rechargeables after this. You're not supposed to submerge this in water, of course. Um, this is for my younger son. And if it breaks or doesn't last that long, I got a second one just in case because I really want to get him refining his toothbrush teeth brushing technique. He had a cavity that was just shy of a root canal need, necessity, you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, it wasn't super, super expensive. It was only $47. Um, and the insurance didn't cover it. So anyway, um, I, I want to avoid that. So these are for him. Okay, hold on. Okay, so plugging away at these, um, I have another family member who films in her vehicle and she's on the go quite a bit and I don't think she has one of these little gadgets here, these doodads, these thingamabobbers, these doohickeys, what do you call these? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of all the weird words we use when we talk about a doodad or a, you know, a gadget. So I have one of these and... I'm going to send this to her if she cannot find one in her own Dollar Tree. She's in a state away from me. This I got for me. Um, it is a wide-angle smartphone lens. 
and it says it works with most smartphones, clips on the phone, it's easy to use. It's by eCircuit. I, I know the Travelocity, Travel O City, whatever you call it, is a better brand, but I, I just decided I would get this. Um, this looks like a lens cap right here, so you would put that on there to protect it. Clip to the front for the perfect self-portrait or clip it on the rear for easy panoramic shots. It's not suitable for phones with a built-in wide-angle lens. Well, maybe I have that already. I'm going to have to check because I don't want to open this and waste my dollar if my phone won't need it. Um, I should know that already. Huh, I'm surprised I don't. This is way cute. Um, I've never been to that Dollar Tree before. I decided to go in thinking that I might not find anything, and I ended up finding a couple different things that I had seen other people haul, and then one thing I haven't seen yet. Um, I wanted to get four of these, but I didn't like how a lot of them had like permanent dark, um, like dirty spots right inside the, what is this made of? What are mugs made of usually, do you know? Anyway, um, there was like permanent dark junky stuff inside, like with this one, I'm okay with the, the occasional spot like that, or the occasional, like this right here on the handle has three indent, indentations. All the other ones had a ton more, so I just decided I'll just get this one, and if it breaks, then I'll just, I just won't have a replacement most likely, because it will be hard to find these ever again, I'm sure. Um, I saw these on two different haul videos, and I wanted to get those. You wouldn't think that these two colors would go together. Um, you know what? I'm just going to try them on right now. Right now, I'm wearing apricot glaze gloss and what is this? Apricot glaze lipstick with Fancy Nancy lip gloss from Mary Kay, and I'm trying to break up with Mary Kay actually. We haven't had a a super meaningful relationship, so me and Mary Kay, we are going to break up. So I'm going to try this on right now, the LA Colors lip gloss. I don't know why. I mean, is it just you get two in a pack? It says they're coordinating shades. So, I guess if you wear them at the same time or by themselves. I think what I'll do is I'll put one on the top lip and the other on the bottom and then rub them together and see what they look like. This one is called... Well, it just says T for two. They both say that. So, um, you know which one goes with which. It's not thick. I thought it was going to be thick. Can you see anything on there? Key, key. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't touch my top lip yet. Ah, go this way, go this way. I can't make it focus when it's that close. I like that one. It's cute. Can you tell the difference? I can. So rubbing them together. It's a nice gloss. I like it. I do like it. Now I'm going to undo all that and wipe it off and try the other one. So that was T for two. Um, I don't know if this is gross to you, but that's what it looks like coming off. This one is Pucker Up. This is really pretty. I'm going to open that and then swatch that. This kind of looks like uh, like a horse leg or a horse hoof. Like a, a chubby horse leg with a horse hoof on it. <laughs> so here's the, here's the, what's it called again? Pucker Up. Pucker Up. Here we go. I'm going to pucker up. Ooh! Here we go.
It's cute. It's a really light pink. And this. Huh. Sorry. I don't know who I'm saying sorry to. Maybe everybody that cringes when I'm doing this. You see the big difference there? Rubbing them together. I like them. There were a bunch, and these are the only two I decided to get. So it's like these each are 50 cents. So I'm happy with those. They don't really have a big scent to them. If I look blurry, I apologize. I tried like a selfie setting on my recording before I hit record or whatever you call it. I have one repurchase here. It's the biotin gummies. I thought there were 14 in a pack, but there are only 12. It's strawberry flavored. And you're supposed to take two a day. Um, have you guys ever watched Rain on the CW? I watched Rain. I was a fan. Um, parts of that show are super racy and super inappropriate. And I watched the whole thing anyway. I think Adelaide Kane is such a beautiful girl. And I watched a couple of her live um, Get Ready With Me and then uh, Get Unready With Me videos. And she said that the, uh, the question came to her, how do you keep your hair so soft and healthy looking? And she said that she takes biotin. And she said something about how you're only supposed to do it for a month and then take a break for two weeks or four weeks and then take it again. So um, I don't know what that's about, so I'm going to research that a little bit. But this is good for your hair, skin, and nails. I've been taking biotin for a while, and I'm not noticing that my nails are extremely... A a lot stronger but they are somewhat stronger than they used to be my skin is pretty clear compared to what it used to be and my hair is growing pretty darn fast for what it usually does I got my hair cut in December and I believe I got it cut to around here so we're in February now I got it cut in the middle of December I think my hair has grown about three and a half inches in about two, in two months. Three and a half inches is crazy for me. It is crazy. I also use a shampoo that has argan oil in it and some stem cells, which is said to help quite a bit too. Um, then, speaking of hair, I bought this shower cap because I want to use coconut oil on my scalp and on my hair once a week. I don't know if I should do it more often than that. I've never tried it before. There were quite a few different designs of the shower caps, but I just wanted this cute tropical flowery one. Um, it's like a very thin terry cloth microfiber polyester on the inside. So I don't even know, yeah, I don't even know if this is going to really fit. It looks like it would only just fit the top part of my hair. I might regret this, but again, it's for my scalp, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use coconut oil on my hair and on my scalp for like, I'll, I'll have to time it right and I will leave it on for like an hour before I take my shower. Let me know if I should do that or if there's a different method to it because I really, really want a nice, healthy scalp and hydrated hair and roots. So if I've got the right idea, please let me know if I'm on track. Otherwise, if I'm way off, I'd love to be corrected kindly. That would be so cool. I found these bath fizzer bars, bolero bars. They feel like salt. They feel like, um, you know, like when sugar gets really hard and you can put a piece of bread in it to moisten up the sugar or whatever. Excuse me, to soften up the sugar again. Um, this was super cool. So Italian pear bath fizzer. It is three ounces or 90 grams. And the Bolero products, I'm impressed with them anyway because it's all natural products or whatever. Cruelty free, aromatherapy, relax and soak, let the stress melt away. This is the benefits are rejuvenating for this scent. 
Um, for this scent, the benefits are hydrating. This is the Moroccan Mint and Raspberry Bath Fizzer. First I thought they were the mini bath bombs, so I was like, oh, let me get some of those. And then I just I hadn't seen them before, so I decided to get those. Um, and then I got a cat toy for thing one and thing two for our cats. They love these little mice. I've never gotten one for them that's inside like a wire ball, but they are going to have fun trying to pick this guy out of here. They'll probably bite off his tail pretty fast, his little ears will probably come off, but they're going to have a lot of fun with him, so that's going to be fun to present them with that tomorrow when my boys come home. And then last, but not least, you guys know I like books, and you know that I like books for my 13-year-old. Um, for some reason, I'm always finding volume two out of all these books that are ha like a like a trilogy or like a series. I'm always finding volume two. So I buy a volume two, and then if we're lucky, we can find volume one and volume three at the library. But this one right here looks pretty good. The Voyagers, I guess. Game of Flames by Robin Wa Wasserman. Wasserman. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It looks like there are six books. Oh, and it looks like they're all written by someone different. That's interesting. VoyagersHQ.com So it says, Earth is in danger. Failure is not an option. The world is about to go dark unless four kids can venture deep into outer space and bring back the solution. This kind of book would probably freak me out if I was reading it as a kid. But my kid isn't scared of books or any descriptions or whatever. Six elements, each on a different planet, fused together to form an unlimited energy source. Cool. Um, you can unlock mission objectives or something. And... Oh, this dedication is pretty cute. For Michelle, who is always there when I need her to save the, or at least my, world. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that stuff is, but I'm gonna let my I'm gonna try to find book one for my kid. Um, I won't buy it unless it sounds amazing, like based on reviews, and then um, I'll buy it if if it's a great series, so that he can read all this. This caught my eye, of course, because you know I love dolphins. The Dolphin Way. A Parent's Guide to Raising Healthy, Happy, and Motivated Kids Without Turning Into a Tiger by Sh Shimmy K. Kong King. That's her. Isn't she pretty? She's gorgeous. She's got short, I mean, sorry, soft hair. Uh, it says she has insight, professional expertise, and unfailing instinct. She provides essential guidance in restoring sanity to 21st century parenting. Um, I hear that dolphins are really good at being compassionate um, and that they take care of their own very well and also there was a person who went swimming with dolphins and one of these dolphins, this is a true story, came up to the man, like it was a man and wife or something, and um, came up to the wife and kept on like bumping its nose into her side or like into her stomach or something and wouldn't leave her alone and just kept on bumping her and bumping her and they're like what's going on what's going on well um I guess they felt impressed to go to a doctor and check her out and she had like a tumor growing in her abdomen somewhere and she was able to get it removed so somehow they felt that the dolphin had sensed that she had something wrong and that it needed to be fixed um, it says here, if you're looking for effective but practical strategies to calm the chaos in your kids' lives, foster their internal motivation, and truly prepare them to function successfully in the adult world, read this book. This is super cool. It says, Dr. King shows why tiger approaches to parenting do more harm than good. Her dolphin approach will have you and your kids cheering. Um, she's a Harvard-trained child and adult psychiatrist. I am very excited about this. I think I'm going to put this on the high-priority list above all the other books that I showed you the last few days when I hauled it. Um, 
Yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to start reading it Im immediately tonight. And I'll let you know what I think of it. Um, seemed like I was going to mention one more thing. Oh, yes, I was. I was going to tell you how much it, it retails for $26.95. So I feel like I've hit a gold mine. Gold mine. This one... I can't find a price. Hold on. Enter the annoying, long, drawn-out moments of silence in which I, I think I, I should be able to say something um, witty, but I'm not. Let me try to get this sticker off and then I'll tell you how much it is. So it retails for $12.99, and the very last thing, which I forgot to show you, I bought um, two different people hauled this, and I thought it was very cool, nice and big, and kind of like chic without being expensive, and without being tacky. I'm excited about this, and I can't wait to use it, and um, they had pink and purple and blue and I'm not sure what other colors but I just wanted the black one so thanks for coming along you guys and thank you so much for being awesome and I'd love to hear about this right here definitely and how much coconut oil I should use on my hair and how long I should uh, use it for um, and I've just been making a lot of videos because I need to stay busy my boys are gone and I miss them terribly and um, I just need to stay busy so that I will not eat all the chocolate that's in the house. And that's it. So thanks for coming by and I'll see you next time. Bye.